Small yard here, I think. I hope we got rain coming in a few days. I don't want to cross that field yet. All right, we're moving to a different part of the country here and getting started here. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a first setting. It's a small setting, a small yard, and we're trying to make a small appearance right now because there's a little bit of rain coming in the forecast and stuff. And uh, this long valley you're looking out over extending the boom there, over in that guy's hay field, it takes a left and heads way down the valley, and that gets to most of our timber. So we're going to set up here in a corner pocket and probably run one rain out and maybe two rain outs right here and then uh, it's July with it being early in July we figure we'll take our chances like this and then uh, after we get uh, you know the right weather pattern hopefully after a rain out or two and then we'll move back in deeper in the patch and be closer to August where it gets dry around here anyways or be you know next week or something you know a little farther up next week but uh, that's why we're setting up here and it's and I'll tell you this, Den Den, we this thing's like a Swiss Army knife. We we uh, it's hard to say what it's really good at. It's probably good at nothing. But I mean, we just you do a little bit of everything with it. But it set the bridges yesterday, and I didn't get that. If you guys got on my butt about not catching that, but I just didn't get it on bridges. Stressful, and we didn't have the time to put fork with it, and I didn't get it up on bridges. But I'll get it taking them out if I can think of it. But. uh it it actually uh we pushed dirt over at the bulldozer and it actually set the dirt and then set the bridges and then filled the dirt on the far side of the bridges up to the entrance of the road that all turned out quite well in the beginning uh didn't have the angle quite right uh then we had to pull them back out and re-angle them but it wasn't nothing to pull them out and adjust them and if uh, some reason they don't set there like they are now we'll pull them out again and adjust them it won't be much there's not much to it now them bridges we built a long time ago i built them things when i was a in my lower 20s, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, they've been around a long time. They don't get used much, but when they do, it's like one of these situations like they'll, they'll make the whole job work out if we had them. So, and they're only 20 foot long, and there's a lot of times they seem like they need to be 25 or 30 foot. So if I was to give anybody advice, 25 or 30 foot would be well more appreciated than the 20 footers I built, I think. But heavy duty is important. And I would think that them bridges could be 25 foot and lighten the beams up enough to where they don't weigh anymore and they'd still be fine at 25 foot. Now the reason they're designed with the handrails and the rails on the side like it was, like you seen in the last video, is so if you're skidding logs over, the log can ride up on them or if you're trucking out of them, you can run a steer tire up there or hit an axle with it, you know, it'll slide up till you stop, back, back up, nothing, be no harm, no foul. But uh, I'll shut up here and we're getting ready, I'm getting stuff out of the way. And then Stevie's going to run, roll in with the boom here after clean this rack off. And Stevie, the rack is freaking awesome. We got a little bit of work uh, modifications I'm going to do to my rotabec yet uh, on my saw feed. I don't, I ain't feeding the rotabec head quite enough oil for my saw. And what the 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 chain speed ain't bad, but my feed speed's bad. By the way, it's plumbed. My feed speed ain't good enough. And uh, I'm gonna have to modificate it just a little bit with the restrictor in the return side on my motor to uh, get my bar to come out a little bit better. And uh, but it'll work fine when we get done with it. But enjoy, everybody. He's gonna have one shot at this, or else we're gonna have to get a bunch of equipment out. Me and him trying to get this shit done so we can get have a halfway. Me and him's both wore out. Oh, Steve. Trying to get her butts home here. Is that the reason why? Steve Air poured on, you gonna spin out.
you're setting the boom, boys, you can't push the foot around. You got to hammer down because it's momentum that sets it. He won't move now. There, Stevie, now hit him. Now you're looking good. There you go. That might almost get us. Stevie, I hear you. We all hear you blowing. There we go, Steve. There you go, Steve Arino. This is going to be funny because he ain't used to this. There he goes. Now nah, he's learning. 
There you go, baby. All right. Wow, baby, good job. Yeah, there you go. Hey, careful now. Yeah. Smooth operating, Stevie. Smooth operating. watching guys don't forget to leave me likes and comments and thumbs up and all that good mess and if you need any logger way gear links down there in the description go to loggerway.com and uh, get your gear America